If you're fortunate enough to have a budget of $2,000, I'm going to show you the best pre-built PCs for you. Pre-builds are so convenient since they save you time building your own and they come with warranty. I think this budget is a sweet spot for high-end parts and future-proofing. Links in the description for everything. Starting off with subjectively the best build on this list, no slouch, this thing has a 13th gen i9 processor and it's cased in my all-time favorite case, the Height Y60. Oh my gosh, look at this thing, it looks so good, you can't go wrong with this. It's liquid cooled so you'll never have to worry about any overheating and it comes with an RTX 4070 which is amazing if you want to play the latest games or dive into demanding tasks. 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM, which can very easily be upgraded if you really want to add some more. It comes with Wi-Fi, so you don't need to use an Ethernet cable, and pre-installed with Windows 11, so you don't have to pay to activate it. This is the Gamer Extreme Gaming PC by CyberPower. Now let's really quickly go over why I like this build. Aside from the beautiful case, the processor is one of the best you can get in today's market. The 13th Gen i9 offers incredible performance, so you'll be able to do everything you want. The RTX 4070 is one of the best graphics cards, which would give you amazing graphics. One of the most important things though, is the warranty. If anything goes wrong, you can contact CyberPower and they will definitely help you out. For a pre-built PC, this one is amazing. I definitely recommend it. Number two on my list is the Poseidon 2, available in black or white. I can't tell if this one looks better than the first one, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Almost as good as the first PC's processor, it has a 13th gen i7. Just like our last build, it has an RTX 4070 12GB graphics card. It also has an AIO for cooling. But this PC comes with cable extensions, which adds a lot to the look of the build. And this one actually has four RGB RAM sticks, which is all about aesthetics, not performance by the way. I just had to point these things out. I am actually in love with this build. The case looks super nice as well. And it has nine RGB fans. And of course it has warranty, which is super important for a build at this price range. I'm not gonna get too deep into it. This is a solid option. Number three, Skytex Prism 2. Very beautiful option here as you can see. It does come with a 360 millimeter AIO cooler as well, and a keyboard and mouse, Wi-Fi, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, and an RTX 4070 Ti. Actually, I should mention that all of these three do come with a keyboard and a mouse. This one has nine fans as well and one year warranty with lifetime support. What can I say? 12th Gen i9, 4070 Ti, 32GB of RAM. You really can't go wrong with any of these builds, can you? By the way, I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers, so if you made it this far in the video, can you please drop a subscribe? Anyway, on to number four. We've got the CyberPower PC again, but this time, instead of Intel, it has a Ryzen processor, which if you have no idea what I'm talking about, in simple terms, this is probably a horrible way of explaining it, but it's like Apple and Android. Some people are just hardcore iPhone fans, and same goes for Android. I mean, I personally am an iPhone fanboy, but... So this build has insane performance. A Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, an RTX 4070 Ti Super 16 gig. It comes with a keyboard and a mouse, and of course, one year parts and labor warranty with free lifetime support. This one comes with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM as well, and I think all of them come with Wi-Fi actually. Windows 11 pre-installed. I am a lover of all white PC builds, but if that doesn't matter to you, then this is definitely for you. Hey, that's pretty good. If you're okay with the all black build, you will love this. Now to end things off, this is a very interesting looking build. RTX 4070, are you seeing the trend here? 13th Gen i7, 64 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, keyboard and mouse, Wi-Fi, and Windows 11. You know the drill. There is even an option for 128 gigs of RAM. Most people don't need nearly as much, but hey, I mean, it's there if you want it. All of these builds are very similar, to be honest. You would be great with any one of them.